Hi, I'm Will Pugh, football reporter with The Sun, and Serena Wiegmann's Never Say Die Lionesses are through to a World Cup final for the first time ever, thanks to a 3-1 win over co-host Australia in Sydney. I can hardly describe how proud I am of the team, because how this team has, yeah, has, has been adapted all the time, uh, before the tournament, uh, then during the tournament and now in this game again, how we come through and find a way to win again is so incredible, so I'm really proud of them. I feel like there's no words to describe what we all feel right now. Um, it's an un unbelievable achievement getting to a World Cup final. It's every kid's dream. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I've got no words. I'm absolutely knackered right now. Um, got a few days to recover, but then we go again because we want to win this. Obviously now we've got so far. Screamers from Ella Toon and World Cup poster girl Sam Kerr for the Aussies had the scores level at 1 all just after the hour mark. Before Lauren Hemp's persistence paid off, she latched onto the end of an outstanding long ball from Millie Bright, hassled the Australian defender into a mistake, and swept home into the bottom corner. Alessia Russo sealed the win with a trademark finish in the 86th minute, but it could have been oh so different for the Lionesses. Sam Kerr missed two guilt edge opportunities with the score at 2-1 and super goalkeeper Mary Earps made another outstanding World Cup save to keep the Lionesses in the game and in the lead. England will meet Spain in Sunday's Sydney showdown after the Spanish overcame Sweden 2-1 in the other semi-final. Late drama where it was still 0-0 after 80 minutes, but two goals from the Spanish either side of a Swedish equaliser mean they progress to the final also for the first time ever, having never even won a World Cup knockout stage before the tournament. Many people will be asking how England overcome the Spaniards on Sunday. They've got such a talented, young, attacking, vibrant team. And the Lionesses, of course, have taken a little bit of time to build their way into this tournament. They're missing key players, but they'll be able to take real confidence from that semi-final performance over co-host Australia in a very, very intimidating atmosphere. Indeed, Spain will prove to be a far bigger challenge. Alessia Russo admitted that after the Australia game. But Spain, they play with very, very high intensity, but they are culpable at the back. They've conceded more goals already in this tournament before they've even played in the final than the winners USA did last time out. So if England can ride the wave of some intense, high pressing, aggressive Spanish play, they will get opportunities, be it on the counter attack, where they're able to use the power and pace of Russo. Kira Walsh's technical ability, Walsh and Bronze of course play in Spain at the moment and they'll be used to and be able to give tips and tricks to their Lionesses teammates about some of the stars they're going to come up against. Serena Wiegmann will have another selection headache on her hands. Does she go with Ella Toon, goal scoring sensation against the Aussies? She kicked things off with an absolute scorcher into the top right corner. Or does she revert to Lauren James, the superstar of the early stages of the tournament, who has of course been banned for the last two games for a foolish stamp at the end of normal time in the last 16 penalty shootout win against Nigeria. Wiegmann just has to figure out, does James's explosive power and extraordinary finishing ability trump that of Ella Toon, who has always paid Serena Wiegmann back when it counts, with the goal, of course, in last summer's Euros final, and then kicking things off against the Aussies in the semis. One thing for sure is Serena Wiegmann has instilled a never say die attitude in these lionesses, so we know whoever she picks, Mary Earps, Millie Bright, Kira Walsh, and co. will be giving their all to bring glory to England once again.